saw my reflection in your eyes. I remember how my roof cage filled with elephants and fireflies. When she pulled up the corners of her mouth and I saw the chandeliers of candlelight in her smile, I remember thinking how it was like I've never been warm before. Because as she stood there, swaying like a flame, something about her turned my teeth into 32 flickering wicks and turned those fireflies into hot coals that made my heart a clumsy elephant to dance. <laughs> Our days together were like love letters. Folded paper slips sealed with the red wax sunsets on her lips. I, I never wanted those days to end, so when night tucked the days away, I made sure there were shorthand sunrises written in the post strip. Her hands, her, her words pulled sunlight from the open pored seams of my skin. I became like stained glass, becoming summer to sustain those sunbeams, collecting them on my collarbone and soaking them into my shoulders. I remember when she traced the lines in my skin and sent heat lightning dancing down my back. I felt my spine for the first time. I straightened as I felt dicks spin down the cord as they played beats of 3-4 as I waltzed with those love letters with one hand in her hip and the other in her handwriting. The heavy soles of my heart became her fire through my body. I took the embers on her breath as a sign that the fire that was in her lungs was for me. You see, for years, the voices of glaciers had made their home in my head. They had held my hand with rigor mortis in their grip and grin brought at me with frost and rime on their teeth. And even though I tasted wanderlust in my mouth, there was something in their crystalline tones that gave me the illusion that I was always moving, always drifting toward the direction of fullness. I appeared solid because my blood froze in their vessels and my bones became white Corinthian columns of ice. During the day, the glaciers poured pools of pale light on my face and promised me the warmth of belonging, but at night, they sucked at my neck and shoved formaldehyde into my veins to, to make it seem like I was alive. My body became a marble mausoleum to the life I was still living, making every moment a funeral for the moment that had just passed. There were hickeys on my neck from their hypothermic kisses. So many times I had tried to push them away from me, but they pulled me back every time and reminded me of the grass by breaking deep into the red dirt and, and with their stiff blue fingers by cutting canyons into my chest and telling me through gritted overbites that I don't belong anywhere else. I mistook those blue-lipped kisses for tenderness. But she was the first person who saw that in me, so when her sparks blew in on the warm breeze, I grabbed them like fireflies out of the summer air with both hands and swallowed them. She showed me that there was more to heat than just the absence of cold, that I had always been enough. She showed me that the fire in her lungs in the summer in her soul could stitch those canyon cliffs together and mend the wounds left by the broken promises of the wind. Her summer footsteps weren't the first I had traced, and the sunsets on her lips weren't the first I had seen, but she brought me more than love letters. She brought the ivory back to my bones and the ruby's blood back to my blood. She made me invaluable. So I gave her my heart like she was the morning sun so I could rise with it because the dawns that broke in her eyes every time she blinked showed me that it was possible for a warm sunrise to break on a winter horizon. Mm -hmm. <laughs>